say thank you. Good day once again. Uh, my prayer is that God has kept you um, healthy and wealthy to another week and another Tuesday for Thoughtful Tuesday with yours truly. Uh, as we are grateful to God, um, we are continuing the series that we shared with you on last week, uh, Going and Growing. And if this is your first time sharing with us, uh, again, we welcome you um, to the virtual worship experience of our Tuesday night worship uh, with uh, St. John the Mighty Fortress. As always, so grateful to see all of you um, logging in and sharing. And as we prepare to go uh, to God in prayer, continue to pray and share um, all of your praise reports and your thoughts. Um, and our prayer ministry, along with myself, are lifting those um, requests unto the Lord. But let us pray. Most kind, gracious, and all wise God, we thank you for the opportunity, the privilege to be able to come and to share, Lord, in this beauty of holiness. And as always, uh, let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be accepted on your side, O oh Lord, our strength, our Redeemer. This we ask in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. We want to continue uh, from our series on last week um, regarding going and growing. We start off by saying, uh, some self-evident truths. You know, first of all, know yourself. You know that no one should know you better than who you. Know yourself. Know your ins and your outs. Know your own idiosyncrasies. Know your own quirks about yourself. Know what you like, what you love, what you can't stand, and what, you know, gets on your nerves. Be truthful and honest and upfront with yourself. Um, so as you know yourself, you're able to teach yourself in areas, um, which was the next point of where you may be weak, where you may be a little without, where you may need room for improvement. That The more you know yourself, the more that you'll be able to teach yourself. We say it repeatedly here over and over and over again. Um, and in order for you to go where you've never been, you've got to do things that you've never, ever done. And that works, and that is a principle that is transferable through race, creed, color, um, orientation, preference, whatever you may have. I'm telling you, the principle works. And once you do it that time, you have mastered um, that particular area, subject, or field of your life. All it takes is one time for you to become an expert in your own field. Yes, teach yourself. What is it um, that you've begun some years ago that you never finished or complete? I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that this is a season of completion. This is a season of completion. Um, that as you prepare to go forth, um, we're not only just talking about the end of the year or time of being in the fourth quarter, um, but the Lord uh, is going to give you a, such a wonderful awareness that the Spirit of God is going to rest on you in such a way that you will be able to go back and some of the things that you desire to finish, uh, that this will be a season of accomplishment and it's going to be a season of completion. And so as you begin to tell the Lord, thank you for that. And as you begin um, to be open and to be aware where there's something that you didn't complete in your childhood years, your teenage years, um, your glory years, or your wonder years, whatever year it may be, this is a season of completion. I need someone to type that in so others can see it for your season of completion that this is a season of completion that wherever you are it may be and so as you begin to teach yourself um, as you begin uh, to learn then you are able to speak to yourself and to speak better and to speak life and words and speak those things that are meaningful and when you are able to speak to yourself um, and that means that you are encouraging yourself then you're able uh, to help you yourself. You've been helping everybody all your life. This is a season that if it's going to be completion, um, you got to help yourself. Amen. Again, no, it is not a passage of scripture. I used to hear coming up the, the, at the Bible say the Lord helps those who help themselves. Now, the Lord didn't say that. Somebody did. And it's not too far from the truth. You know, again, you need to use your resources, your skills necessary to help prepare and move yourself forward, help yourself. And as you're helping yourself, then you're able to live yourself. You've been pulling 
up so many people for so long, you need to go to a spiritual chiropractor because your back is out of whack. That's all you've been doing. You lift up this person and you lift up that person. And as you've been lifting, amen, others, amen, you found yourself in the same place in the field that and plain and level that you were on years ago. Now it's time to lift yourself, uh, lift your way of thinking, oh, if I was just in church, I would say, yeah, it, it's time to get, you know, a new set of weave. It's time to go with a different style. It's time, you know, to figure out some new things, new clothes, whatever it is, begin to lift yourself because when you lift yourself, the next point that we want to come to you is that you can be yourself. Be yourself. You know, the old saying would go, you know, we say it all the time. The older saints would say, be who you is and not who you ain't. Let's go into this passage of scripture. 1 Timothy 4 and 15. 1 Timothy 4 and 15. Listen to what it says. Look here. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. Wow. So what we're we trying to say, he says that as you lift yourself and as you begin, you know, to do all those things and, and be yourself and as you are diligent, you know, and encouraging and, and doing all these wonderful things, he says, when you give yourself to this, when you give yourself and you're committed to your own growth, you're committed to your own maturation, you're committed to your own, you know, saturation of all the things um, that you like and desire and that's going to help you become a better person and you're able to be yourself then and only then you are able to like grow yourself all of that you know starts from knowing you know all the way to growing from knowing to growing that at the more you know the more you can grow wow so as you know we, we close here um uh, bruce maxwell in his leadership Bible, gives out some very important information that um, is dispelling some of the myths that as I am growing. Um, and this is a very uh, a skeleton uh, outline, but I want to share this with you real quickly. He says that, you know, that as you are growing, dispel these myths that, that we feel as though that there's always a gap between here and there. Um, that um, because, you know, for instance, the assumption gap, you know, that, you know, you just think, you know, that just by, you know, just by who you are, you're going to just grow. Um, yeah, your body may be growing, but your intellect will remain the same. Um, not only is there the assumption gap, like assuming I will grow, then there is the knowledge gap. And that is why you're tuning in tonight. And that's where you share, you know, and Maxwell says, you know, that the knowledge gap is there because we're, we're saying that I don't know how to grow. I don't know how, you know, what should be the next step I can take, you know, and that is why we talk about teaching yourself, you know, and then we go from the knowledge gap to the timing gap. You know, it's not the right time to begin, that we're always uh, looking um, for this particular um, way or certain time. But remember that God does not operate on chronos, he operates on chaos time. Then, you know, from timing gap, you know, from assuming that it's not the right time to begin to the mistake gap. You just said, I'm afraid of making mistakes. Look, you've been making mistakes since you've come into the world, you know, and you used to wear pampers. We all did, and they caught those mistakes. So, you know, again, at least make mistakes going towards your goal and the thing that you desire in life. And the only way, you know, that you can grow is if you go. All right. Then we go from, you know, uh, the mistake gap to the perfection gap. I have the best way, you know, I have to find that way, that particular perfect way, you know, before I started. I've got to get everything in order. You know, some of the greatest achievements in life, you know, from individuals that have made a difference, you know, did not come, you know, from just a, a good start or uh, come from the mere fact, you know, that they have to get things in order. Sometimes you are placed in crisis. You're put in situations that you don't have any choice. And then from that particularly, you have the inspiration gap, you know, that, you know, we feel that I'm not motivated, I'm not inspired, you know, and that is why you've got to encourage yourself, and I was talking about speaking to yourself, and then there is the comparison gap, you know, again, you, the only person that you're comparing yourself to or competing 
is with the person you were the day before yesterday. You know, that every day we ought to compare ourselves to the person we were, you know, yesterday, last week, last year, because that's the only person you should ever be in competition with. You know, bump the folk that are around you. They ain't got nothing on what God has for you. Then there's the expectation gap. I thought it would uh, be easier. You know, again, where there is no struggle, there shall be no progress. You know, and you say, again, you, you have, you know, is it easy to, you know, be doing some of the things that you're currently doing? You're still, you know, having that same expectation. So again, it is about the transfer of energy. And we're going to pick up on that later on uh, this particular season about shifting our energies um, from those things which are not giving us the best return to those things um, that can push us and propel us, amen, to keep us going and growing. We thank you for joining us in this series. And if this is something that you desire and you want to be a part of, and you are not a part of the community of faith, you can repeat these words with us, dear Lord. I am a sinner. I'm asking you today to become the head of my life. Please forgive me from all my sins. I believe you died on the cross for me. And three days later, you were raised from the grave. And because I believe today, I am saved. Now, Lord, please fill me with the gift of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, type in, I am saved. Keep going. Keep growing. And here is the sights and the sounds of St. John, the Mighty Fortress. So blessings to you again as you're going forth in life. Remember, uh, know yourself. What else do you have to do? That after you know yourself, teach yourself. After you teach yourself, speak to yourself. Speak those things aloud. You know, that I am going to stop saying I am sick. I am going to get well. Stop saying I am, I'll never finish this or I'll never finish that. Stop saying that and say, I'm going to get this accomplished done this year. I'm going to do, just put it out in the atmosphere, whether it is the right time or not. Speak to yourself. After you speak to yourself, then find resources and help yourself. You know how to help yourself because you could have a business uh, helping folk. You know, you ain't made no money. You know, you've been in that business for years now. Take that in business, after they Father Delaney, uh, you know, told me business is B-U-S-I-N-E-S-S. -E -S -S. I, you need to be in the middle of your own business. Help yourself after you help yourself. Lift yourself. Lift yourself. And as you lift yourself and as you encourage yourself and as you inspire yourself, be yourself. Be the original you. And from being yourself, you can keep on growing yourself. Again, blessings to you. And thank you, amen, for sharing with us, amen, and continue as we go forth in this virtual worship experience with the 3T ministry, the Time, Town, and Tithe of St. John the Mighty Fortress. There are several ways to give to support the ministries of St. John Baptist Church, the Mighty Fortress, your time, talent, and tithe. We've made virtual giving so easy. Just text St. John SAV to 73256 and follow the prompts. That's St. John SAV 73256 and follow the prompts. Or you can call the number right on your screen to speak to someone and give your credit card information. 912-844-1872. That's 912-844-1872. 
or feel free to mail in your cash, donations, and tithes to St. John Baptist Church, The Mighty Fortress, 2415 East Duran Avenue, Savannah, Georgia, 31406. And to give your time and talent or to find out more information on everything going on at St. John, The Mighty Fortress, including our virtual worship experiences, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Periscope, or go to stjohnsavannah.org. So my brothers and my sisters, until we meet again, uh, if you're going to know yourself, amen, know yourself to a point where you can grow yourself. Continue to join us for Mighty Fortress Moments every day right here in this same space and place, as well as Morning Manor on Sundays and the drive-in worship experience in person worship on the beautiful campus of St. John Mighty Fortress every Sunday morning, 2415 East Daren Avenue, the soul of Savannah. Come as you are in the family car until we meet again. Uh, keep going and keep growing. Blessings. Oh.